Welcome back. My name is Olu Ole Godwin. Welcome to Emoji Economics. We shall consider a discussion on producer equilibrium. Here we have a problem to solve using the couple class production function. Remember that in the previous class we were talking about, we just introduced ourselves to couple class uh, production function, we described the parameters and so on and so on. Here we have a problem, a mathematical problem that we have to solve. A fair massive problem. The first production function is uh, q into bracket k, uh, comma l. This simply means that q is a function of k and l, and that equals k raised to the alpha, then l raised to the one minus alpha. Here alpha is given as two over three, one minus alpha is given as one over three, then w is given as four, r is given as twenty-seven. Of course, here yeah, what you observe two over three plus one over three is equal to one. So that means this is a constant returns to scale of the gas production function. So the question says find the marginal rate of technical substitution, which is the MRTS, and what is the lowest cost at which the firm produces 1080 units. A very interesting question. So how will we solve it? A to find the MRTS, we simply know that MRTS is minus MPL divided by MPK minus MPL divided so that's that is the ratio of the marginal product of capital and um, labor. So MPL now equals so how do we obtain our MPL? MPL is changing uh, Q with respect to change uh, with respect to uh, label. I want you to realize that I'm using a partial derivative here simply because we don't have look as this is the uh, function. So it's it's not only K that we have here. We have another parameter which is uh, L. We don't have A here. Okay, that is A is uh, A is um, assumed to be one. If we don't have A, that simply means A is assumed to be. Remember that we have A. When we were introducing ourselves to couple gas production function. So if A is not here, it simply means A is born, it's assumed to be one. Okay, yeah. Now, so partially we take partial derivatives of um the of um q with respect to L, and that gives us this is L here. So we have one minus alpha, one minus alpha comes here, then k raised by alpha, then l one minus alpha minus one. Okay, so we've been given that uh, one minus alpha equals uh, one over three, that is uh, this. And then alpha equals 2 over 3. Okay, so what we just do simply is that 1 minus alpha is 1 over 3, k raised power 2 over 3, then l, 1 minus alpha, 1 minus alpha is 2 over 3, so 2 over 3 minus 1 is minus 1 over 3. So that's just to make our, our work easier. So we just convert the whole thing to decimal, and decimal makes the work pretty much easier. So this becomes 1 over 3 becomes 0.33k raised by 0 0.67. L raised to power minus 0 0.67. So we do the same thing for the marginal product of capital. So we take the partial derivative of k with respect to we take the partial derivative of q with respect to k. Now that's going to give us this alpha, so that's going to give us alpha k. So we have alpha k, then alpha minus one since we are differentiating um, with respect to k, and l1 minus alpha, l1 minus alpha. So alpha is 0 0.67, then k. Alpha minus 1, that is um, 0 0.67 minus 1. So we have a minus 0 0.33. Then L equals 1 minus alpha, of course, is 1 over 3, which is L raised by 0 0.33. So the MRTS is, the MRTS here, okay, equals, um, so it's, uh, it's up to the negative, equals minus MPL over MPK. So what we have there is 0 0.33, so it's a minus, okay. It's a minus. So we have a minus 0.33k raised by 0 0.67, then L raised by minus 0 0.67. Everything divided by the marginal product of capital, which is 0 0.67k raised by minus 0 0.33, and L raised by 0 0.33. So what we just do, we divide this by this. By the time we do that, we have a uh, we have minus 0 0.49, minus 0 0.49k. So by the law of indices, so this becomes 0 0.67 uh, minus minus 0 0.33. So 0 0.67, it's a minus because it's division sign. Then this is coming uh, with a minus before, so minus minus 0 0.33. Then L minus 0 0.67. Okay, the power is 0 0.33, but because uh, it's a division sign that divides uh, the numerator, the L that is the numerator and the L that is the denominator, we have minus 0 0.33 again. So all of this becomes all of this becomes uh, minus minus 0 0.49 k is power one l is power minus one. So MRTS now is equal to minus 0.49k over L. Okay, and 0.49k over L. Now what is B? B is uh the uh, question says what is the lowest cost at which the firm produces 108 uh, units? Now what we should understand here is that to so, obtain okay, the lowest cost, we need to be talking about we need to uh, go back to the ISO cost. So ISO cost now ISO cost is that curve that gives us 
and the lowest cost for every two combination of uh, two combination of um, or the different combinations of uh, two uh, inputs. Okay, so we just have to revisit that. If you not uh, if you don't know anything about Isaac Costa before, we uh, we have uh, a video on that, and I'm going to provide the link in the description of this particular one. Okay, so to obtain the lowest uh, cost, we just say let the marginal rate of electrical substitution equals to the uh, slope of the uh, of the Isaac Costa, which is just uh, the relative prices. Okay, it just equals to the relative prices. So in essence. Marginal rate of taking substitution is uh, minus MPL over MPK equals minus PL over PK. Price of labor equals wage and price of capital equals the rental rate of capital. So we've obtained this. Okay, what we just do here is this minus um, cancels this minus. So it now becomes positive. So we just have 3.49K over L, which we've obtained here, equals the price of labor is uh, labor's wage, which is 4 naira. Okay, 4 divided by the price of capital is 27, okay, which is the return rate of capital, 27. So to make every hour of our work easier, what we just have to do is to uh, divide through. Okay, so this becomes 0.49k equals 4 divided by 27 is 0.148. Then L, okay, we just kind of cross multiply. So it's uh, L comes here, so because this becomes 4 by 27 multiplied by L, L comes here. So in order to obtain K alone, we divide through by 0 0.49. So k equals 0.148L divided by 0 0.49. And that gives us uh, approximately 0.30L. 0 0.30 0 is the same thing as 0.3 level. So we have k equals 0.3L. Now, what we just have to do is to substitute k equals 0.30L into the production function. So we have to divide the production function. Now, what is the production function? Uh, this is it. So we just say a Q at the function of capital and labor equals now K is 0 0.3L, so it is the whole of this. Alright, so that is why we have to say uh 0.3L into brackets the alpha. Okay, it's not 0.3 alpha L and it's not 0.3 L alpha. So the brackets must be there to indicate that all of this is what K is. Alright, so it's for alpha then. We have L here already, L1 minus alpha. So we've been giving Q from the from the question. The question is going for uh, the lowest cost of um, capital and labor that will produce this uh, quantity. Agreed? So we've been given the quantity. Our quantity is 1280, okay, equals 0.3L. Alpha is uh, 0.67, we converted that already. Then L is no L, um, L is um, L is this for 0.33. So 1080 equals this 0.3 uh which for 0.67, then Close the brackets, L is plus 2.6. So it's a kind of an expansion. So by the time we expand this, this, this becomes 0 0.3 is plus 0.67. And L multiply by L is plus 0 0.67. So that is what we've done here. Okay, remember that there's an L outside here before. So this expansion is going to multiply. So this L that we brought out will multiply this L that is already outside. Okay, so we have 1080 equals 0 0.3 is plus this is going to give us 0 0.446 approximately. Okay, and um, so we applied the law of indices here. So when we, what we just have to do is to add the power since we are talking about the same um, letter, so LL. Okay, so by the time we do that, that's going to be raised by 1. 3.67 plus 0.33 equals 1. So L1 equals 1080. Okay, I made this of, uh, I changed this to 0 0.45 because all along we've been using two decimal places. So for us to have a kind of uh, consistency. Now, 1080 divided by 2.45 equals two four zero zero so and the number of labor that must be utilized in order to produce this output at the least possible cost is two thousand four hundred uh, units now remember that k equals i think we got that here k equals zero point three zero a which is same as zero point three l so k equals this so all we just have to do is to substitute the value of l we already got into this equation and then we have 720. So 0 0.3 multiplied by 2400 is equal to 720. Now that is uh, not the end. You've just been able to get the uh, input uh, minimizing quantities. We've not obtained their cost. So to get the lowest cost, we must use the isocost function. So this is uh, one of the places where the lessons to be had on isocost comes in handy. Okay, so TC equals WL plus RK. Where W is the wage of labor, R is the rental rate of capital. So TC equals, we've been given W from the question, which is 4 naira. 4 naira multiplied by the L that we obtained, 2400, plus the rental rate of capital is this, 27 naira, which we then multiply 
by the input minimizing uh, by the okay by 720. So this multiplied by this is 9,600. This multiplied by this is 19,440. So the addition of the two of them will now give us 29,040. So that means for this particular firm to produce 1,080 units of whatever commodity it is selling, it must it's the least cost that it can incur is um, 29,040 naira. 29,040, and that is where it uses the labor and capital combination of 2,400 and 720 respectively. Okay, so this is just a diagrammatic representation of what we've had, where this uh, line here represents ISO cost, and then this is our ISO point. All right, so this is uh, capital on this axis, labor on that axis. So uh, we recall, or we should recall, that um, the uh, optimizing position is simply where the ISO cost is tangential to the ISO quant, or where the ISO quant is tangential to the ISO cost. Okay, and that's uh, that is where we have labor, which is two thousand four hundred, and capital, which is uh, seven hundred and twenty. So that's that about uh, this class. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Like this video, and please ensure you subscribe to our channel. We shall be talking about a little bit of a uh, complex uh, computer production function in the following video.